Hey guys, now we are here in Livermore, California and for the spirit of Christmas, we're going to visit this house, you know, in a quiet neighborhood. Well, usually it's a quiet neighborhood, but as you can see the decorations, a lot of people are flocking to see this place. So let's go and check it out. There's a little bit of line entering the property and as we wait a couple of kids gave us free candy canes and asked us if we want some hot chocolates. I got the candy, uh, Christmas cane candy. This is Brandon's favorite. For free. So Lynette treat us with a chocolate, hot chocolate, and homemade. it's also yeah homemade with whipped cream and. Uh, Sound travelers has a good heart. Wow, well, no, no. she, she paid for this. <laughs> this is um, just helping out for um, fundraiser yeah, for fundraiser. the soccer of, in Arizona. Arizona. And uh, it's um, it's also it's up to you how much you want to pay for it. Guess how much we pay? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> if you guess, put it on the comments below. <laughs> Casa del Pombo's Christmas decorations isn't a historical landmark, but it has been going on for the last 32 years since 1982. They have a different theme every year, and this year they have the North Pole Operations Center. Here are the dates and it's free admission. We should also thank Deacon Dave who tirelessly worked to achieve this gift to the community during Christmas. Fun fact, the property and grounds originally belonged to his grandparents when it was all a ranch area and they had about an acreage. They eventually sold some of the land to developers and keep where the house stands of under one acre. Also, construction of the buildings of the Christmas display began in Labor Day weekend with only volunteers. while the Christmas light crew started putting up lights on October 1st and there are approximately 787,000 lights as of 2022.
Deacon Dave also made the meditation gardens with waterfalls, koi fish pond with a covered bridge, and the peaceful sounds of doves. The family also has a grandfather clause with the city of Livermore. His grandmother donated land to widen the Hillcrest Avenue. In return, the family is exempted from the city restrictions on the number of certain birds a residence can have. Generations of birds have been raised on the property, and Deacon Dave's show pigeons have won 380 awards at various county fairs. So we explore Casa del Pomba and I hope you guys visit this place if you by any chance um, pass by Livermore. This is a free site and please don't hesitate to donate to keep this place alive. Alright, until next time, to travel is to explore history, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. Bye! So guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. And feel free to comment. Hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell. Come on, guys, hit the bell. For notifications. And don't forget to share. Hello. <laughs>